What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. If you've always wanted a Dremel tool like I have, but didn't have the money, you might want to check out this cheaper alternative. So I just picked this up. It's a rotary toolkit. You might remember these as Dremel tools. They're commonly referred to that, but this is by Wen. And I actually picked up some Wen tools earlier this year, a electric chainsaw, and I really love it. So I was kind of excited about checking this out. It is a 2305 tool here, and it is just so much cheaper than the Dremel tool. I'm really hoping that it works. Now, it comes in a nice little case. It's a little cheap plastic, but it will work just fine. It even has a little handle there. There's really two reasons that I wanted this, as I was saying. Uh, there is the cutting action, the little cutting discs that are really exciting. Little instruction book here. Um, and that's for kind of cutting down bolts and screws. So there's a lot of times when I have the right screw with the right thread pitch and all that, but it's just too long and I wanted to just trim them and Dremel tools can be great for that. But the other thing that I was really hoping in using it for immediately is I actually have a car part that I need to polish up a little bit. And uh, the bits in here often you include a little polishing wheel. You can see it right there. And so I'm really hoping that I can do some really fine polishing on some stuff. So uh, let's just look here since I've got a little plastic case and then we have all of the accessories on it now it does come with a bunch of stuff i'm not going to go through every little thing here but we have these little sanding discs here we have a tightening tool looks like we have uh, little sanding and cutting discs which are nice we have some you know these are like a pumice almost and little grinding tools already fixed on there here is one of those little polishing wheels Looks like wool or something. And then there's a little drill bit in here too. Obviously you can drill with this, but I would prefer a drill. And then what we have here are these little posts. You might be able to see them here. And they will allow you to take these attachments and attach them on there. This one has a little screw end. And then we also have uh, ooh, one with a, like a very fine grinding point. Looks like a arrow. Um, as well as a little wrench to tighten things up. Just a lot of stuff in here. And here is kind of an example of, there's a screw on the end so you can put your little grinding discs or sanding discs on the end of this. And that's a little rubber thing. Okay, we also have what you've been waiting for, the tool itself. Now this one is corded and I was looking for that because one, it's a lot cheaper and the cordless ones that I've had in the past, I've actually had a Dremel branded cordless one and I just always had to charge it up and I was just hoping to, uh, you know, keep this sucker running. It's a fairly, fairly heavy cord there and it's a non-grounded outlet. And the tool here is actually pretty large. It feels great. We've got a little loop right there. It's got a nice robust plastic on it and you know, it's just uh, like a cylinder here, power switch right there. And then on this side, we have a speed control. So one through, looks like up to max, six to max. So you got that. And then you have right here, the business end with this little um, textured collar. So we can put the post in there and tighten it in and have that um, ready to rock. Now, we also have an extension here. As you might be able to see, it's probably about three feet long and this will screw into the tool and then you get that same type of attachment on this end but this allows you to kind of do some fine work maybe where you can't get this big tool in but you can hold it and do some fine work almost like a pen which is pretty nice now i'm going to get this set up here and just see if it's working now what i'm going to show you what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take out this rubber attachment and take out the screw that comes on it and then you can see it's got a little collar and a long neck there and i'm going to put on this polishing wheel because that's what i want then I'm going to put the screw back on there, and it's a Phillips head, so I'll just use a Phillips head just to tighten it down a little. And then you want to install in here, and to do that, there's a little button here, so you'll press that in, and what you're doing is when you turn this, you'll feel it kind of catch, and that'll hold it in place so that you can unscrew it and open it up, and then put your post in there, and you can give it a little bit of a neck, and then tighten it back down with that button pushed in there. So, and once it's tightened down, you can release it, and now it should spin freely. And now that we have that on, I'm just gonna go ahead and the power button. You probably can't see that spinning, but that is definitely spinning. And if I adjust the speeds here. Man, this thing is fast, holy smokes. All right, I'm gonna say, even on the slowest speed, um, it was it's spinning fast enough and I can feel it. 
although it's nicely balanced, that I was afraid that that would probably be enough to polish it. But on the highest settings, I mean, now I'm a little worried about it, like, burning when I'm going to polish. So I'm going to play around with it a little bit. I have some rubbing compound. And what I actually want to polish is this carbon fiber piece. I've actually kind of glued this back down because it had some issues. But right here, I spilled a little glue on it, and I kind of sanded it down. But I really got to polish some of this out now to get rid of that, to give it a nice shine. It's kind of an epoxy sitting on top of the carbon fiber. So I'm really hoping here that, uh, especially on these areas where it's very scratched up now, I can polish that out. So I'm going to give it a shot. Here goes nothing. All right, guys, it did a pretty nice job of polishing. You can see here that I still have some uh, polish marks, but it got rid of most of the big stuff there. I can still see a little bit of it. So I'm going to uh, kind of finish this up with a little bit of a finer polish, but I'm actually pretty impressed. Now, I was only doing this on about the three speed there. So there's a lot more speed that I could be cranking into it and I'm probably going to use a little bit of a circular pattern to try to polish that out it's so like I said you know going more to a polishing compound as opposed to a rubbing compound and I think that'll give it a nice shine so I'm pretty impressed with that it's going to be an easy way to correct this without you know taking it to a professional so I'm looking forward to using this now I will say if you're using a compound like this it does splatter around a little bit but especially if you're going to grind and things like that use some eye protection and uh, you know stay safe but really happy with this tool it is powerful and it's great if you want to pick it up i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out